Hi, and welcome to our next video for our 100 year anniversary here at First Christian Church. This video, we're going to explain how this sanctuary came to be. As a follow up to the last video we did concerning the newspaper article written by Audrey Houston in 1986, for this video, we will look back to the first week in August 1965 when the new sanctuary First Christian Church was dedicated. An article in the Daily Advance described the new church as one of the most beautiful sanctuaries in this area. It went on to describe the building, which was completed at a cost of $110,000 and added 8,300 additional square feet to the church complex. In addition to the sanctuary itself, eight classrooms, five dressing rooms, a choir room, the minister's study, and utility areas composed the new church building. The article described in great detail the construction and materials, brick building with an A roof supported by eight exposed Louisiana pine beams stained in walnut finish. Rails and paneling are of birch and pews are walnut. Seating capacity in the sanctuary is 300 persons with the balcony located in the rear of the church providing seating for an additional 50 more persons. The chancel is elevated with attention centered on the communion table as the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, observes weekly the Lord's Supper or Holy Communion. Much of the spiritual strength of the Christian churches is thought to be found in this institution. Also located in the chancel are the pulpit and the organ on the left and the choir loft on the right. Rich red carpeting and a docile curtain of matching red velvet, as well as cathedral lanterns hanging in the sanctuary and balcony complete the interior description. The docile curtain can be drawn back during baptismal services as the font, shipped from Fort Worth, Texas, is centered behind the curtain and the communion table. Arnold Winslow was the contractor for the building which was designed by Charles A. Betts of Indianapolis, Indiana, church architect. The architect was of the Christian denomination and was familiar with the rituals of the church and the particular needs. Contractor for the wiring and plumbing was New Home Appliance. City Sheet Metal installed the air conditioning and heat. Hooper Tile Company and Carolina Furniture Company were responsible for the floor coverings. T.C. Flood was chairman of the building committee. Other members included Robert Givens, Jack Raby, Oscar Hobbs, Mac Jennings, Miss T.V. Sexton Jr., Miss W.E. Scott, Miss Lee Anderson, and Miss Vernon J. Rogerson. Lewis Price served as chairman of the church board during construction and Marshall Twitty was treasurer of the building fund. Fundraising for the new church began around six years before the completion of the new church. At the writing of this newspaper article, a total of $70,000 had been raised with about $20,000 of it realized from the sale of chicken salad and fish suppers. During the building of the church, lightly tinted amber glass windows were installed with hope that stained glass windows would replace the amber in years to come. By May 2, 1971, when the service of dedication of the church furnishings was held, that dream had become a reality. The lovely stained glass windows, along with the furnishings for the new sanctuary, had been donated by families and friends of the congregation in memory or in honor of those who loved this church and labored so that lives might be enriched here through worship, teaching, and service to others. The litany that Sunday included the following read by the people. We dedicate these earthly symbols to their rightful uses and lifting the aspirations of this and future generations, that in this house of worship thy name may be praised and thy service glorified. Amen. Throughout the building can be found plaques and books with the names of those who have so generously given through the years so that our facility can be furnished to the glory of God. Those who have been remembered by those gifts are listed as well. Due to this generosity, funds from our general budget did not have to be used. What a blessing! On April 24, 2016, our congregation was blessed to be one of six churches in the area 
asked to participate in the stained glass walk sponsored by the Museum of the Albemarle. For four hours that Sunday afternoon, our greeters were able to share the beauty and the stories of our windows with visitors. Well, we hope that you enjoyed that video about the history of our sanctuary. Have a happy 100 year anniversary, First Christian Church.